Hi besties, welcome to Silo Diaries. In today's video, I'll show you a hassle-free method of preparing the classic traditional drink which is popular amongst our Wambo and Kavango tribes of Namibia. Oshikundu, otherwise known as Ontaku, is made from an ancient African grain, millet and sorghum. You will need pearl millet flour, sorghum bran, sorghum malt, and a cup of already fermented oshikundu. In a large metal or plastic bowl, add all your dry ingredients one at a time and mix them very well. Pour one liter boiled water over it and mix well to get rid of the lumps. Really, there is no special method in mixing this. The idea is to mix until you get rid of all the lumps. Now, this drink can be alcoholic or non-alcoholic depending on the length of time it is fermented. So, this means the longer you leave it to ferment, the more boozy it becomes. When prepared especially for children, the sick and elderly, Oshikundu is served just before the fermentation process begins. As a cautionary measure, it is discouraged to add sugar to Oshikundu because it becomes potent as well as gives a bitter taste. Do you know, in some household, Oshikundu is consumed as a breakfast drink served with millet pancakes known as omongome or Oshikuvila, as well as leftover millet porridge known as Oshifima Shomahango. In some instances, a mixture of Oshikundu and millet porridge is prepared to make onakwi. Now, onakwi is mostly consumed by toddlers and school-going children. Oh, before I forget, this recipe makes 3 liters, but if you are preparing oshikundu for a lot of people, just double the quantity. It is believed that oshikundu is a good source of energy because it is very filling to the stomach. For example, men take oshikundu when they go on hunting trips. Women consume oshikundu while they are working on the farm. Nursing mothers consume oshikundu because it is believed to increase their milk supply. Children carry it to school for lunch. Toddlers drink oshikundu to nourish their growing bodies. In some government and private hospitals around Namibia, Oshikundu is served to the sick. Please check out the description box at the bottom of this video for a full list of ingredients and useful information about Oshikundu. Continue mixing for 5 minutes, then 
Allow the mixture to cool naturally for 30 minutes or more. The best way to test if the mixture has cooled down is by placing your hands at the bottom of the bowl. Add one liter cold water and continue stirring. I am very curious to know for those of you who are living outside Namibia, if you prepare something similar to this in your country, how do you call it? And are there different methods that you use to prepare compared to mine? Add another half a liter of cold water and continue stirring ever so slightly. Now, pour a cup of already fermented oshikundu. This process is called back slopping. Mix a little bit. You can find these ingredients in most parts of Africa, including India and China. In Africa, they are widely sold in open markets with an exception to a few convenience stores. Finally, pour the mixture in a clean 5 litre bucket and close tightly. Guys, don't worry about those stubborn bits. Just scrape them into the bucket. These are very important in the fermentation process. Mix carefully just for a few seconds. Store away on the kitchen counter until the next morning. It is now 8 a.m. the next morning. Wow! Guys, look at this. This is so fantastic. Oshikundu is now ready. It is done and can be consumed by the family. Please give this video a massive thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and become part of the family. By subscribing, you will receive a notification every time I upload a new video. Traditionally, when we serve Oshikundu, we serve it in a calabash called Oshito and we use Omindo which is a serving spoon and a holo which is the mug where we used to drink oshikundu from watch as i demonstrate now here i present to you the african calabash in my native language which is oshikwanyama we call it Oshito. However, there are even some that are bigger than the one I'm having here. The production method of Oshikundu 
is carried over from one generation to the next. Due to its short shelf life, Oshikundu should be consumed the same day. Whatever little bit of Oshikundu is left over should be stored away and used to make Oshikundu for the next day. As you saw in my demonstration, I used Oshikundu from the previous day for back sloping. If you find yourself presented with an opportunity to visit Oshiwambo or Kavango household, Oshikundu is usually presented in such a manner. It is a central part of maintaining social and cultural relationships. And the gesture of good hospitality and acceptance. This is Omindo and I'm using it to scoop Oshikundu from the calabash. This is a holo, it is where I'll be drinking Oshikundu from. The woven basket covering the calabash is called a lilo or ongalo. Thank you so much for watching, until we meet again in my next video, bye besties!